What's up guys, Nick here and you're watching Nick and Katie. Today we're gonna go over everything that I have here in my hand. These are all the tools that I take with me every time I go for a ride and explain to you why you should pick up these tools as well or something at least similar to these tools. I don't like to carry my tools on my bike or in a backpack. I like to carry everything with me in this super small fanny pack. So if you feel like me and you just wanna carry something super small like this that you barely even notice is there, then I suggest watching this video. So the first thing I wanna talk about is my Toe Peak Mini P20 multi-tool. Now this multi-tool comes in a nice little sleeve like this and it offers Allen keys, torque wrenches. It even offers a little pocket knife type saw thing over here that pops out and the coolest part about this and what i really got this tool for was the master link tool as well as a like pin pusher tool so you can do chain repairs on your bikes now this side right here basically pushes the pin out so you can get two ends that are ready to receive a master link or you can repair a chain like that if you're doing it the old school way with the older style chains and it also has this little function here. If you pop out an Allen key, you can take this side right here where the little master link tool is and twist this into here, which pushes this over and will take off and put back on your master link. Super nifty little bit of kit right here. And I absolutely love this multi tool. I think it's such a great option. Now, some of you may notice that this does not feature a couple things that other multi-tools have. There is a certain reason I did not get a multi-tool that has those features, and I will tell you why in just a second here. So flat repair. This is a nice little tool from Lazine, which is basically your plug applicator for if you have tubeless tires, you're gonna definitely need one of these guys right here and some plugs. And I really like this because it all comes in one neat little thing. It's basically this little capsule here. It holds your plugs and your applicator in this really small compact design. And if you would get this little applicator on a multi-tool, it could be nice, but you're not gonna have a place to store your little bacon strips here, your little tire plugs. So having it all in one thing keeps it really neat and nice. And it actually even has enough space in here to store something else which is these little valve cores right here. These valve cores are gonna be nice if you you know, are doing a flat repair and you maybe mess up your core and you need to replace one of those. Having two, I have two in here. You can have one or you can have you know, 15 if you really wanted to, um, just to help your buddies out. But these are gonna be super nice to have with you and they're super lightweight and small, so why not carry one? So when we're talking about flat repair, one important thing to cover is tire levers. Now these are the mini tire levers from Pedro's and these are freaking adorable, man. They are slightly smaller than the regular Pedro's ones and they clip together like this to have space for a quick link inside. It also has some Presta valve tools here as well as some storage for some other links for different styles of chains. So you got that there too, which is super nice. And it all goes back together like this. Now, I suppose you could carry a traditional tire lever like this. These ones actually stack together too. But as you'll see, there's a slight size difference here. So I like these mini ones. I feel like they are just as strong, just a slightly different build. And you're getting a product from Pedro's, which is a super solid company. So yeah, these are just freaking awesome. I just really like these. So I added this to my toolkit. So the next thing on the list would be a mini pump. Now I like to carry a mini pump. You can carry a CO2 inflator and CO2. It is arguably more compact and small than this. However, I like the practicality of using a mini pump. This is the Pocket Drive HV by Lazine. And by the way, all these products are gonna be linked down below in the description if you wanna check these out for yourselves. Um, I highly recommend these products. I did a lot of research to find these, so they are pretty freaking awesome. Now this Lazine Pocket Drive HV, which stands for high volume, is pretty cool because you pop off this end, twist this out here, and it unleashes this little tube guy, which you can pop into the other end here, which is also protected by a seal. Twist it on really quick. And then you've got Presta and Schrader on either side, as well as a pressure relief valve here for that fine tuning. And then you got a nice little pump guy that puts out a pretty decent volume of air. It's super freaking lightweight, feels very solid and sturdy, and I just love products from Lazine, so that's why I got this pump. So the very last thing on this list is very obvious and that is a tube. Now I don't carry sealant with me, I don't carry patches, I just bring a tube because if I'm stuck out on the trail 
and I have a flat that I cannot fix with a tire plug. I just use a tube. It is a surefire way to get you back home. And at that point, I just kind of take it a little bit easy because I don't want to break the freaking tube. Now this tube is super bulky. This is a regular tube, but you can get something called a Tubalito, which I'll put up on the screen, which is a super minimalist lightweight tube, but they will run you about 30, 40 bucks, depending on what size you need and where you get it from. So I went with the standard tube here. And what's really nice about this, since I always ride with Katie, which is my wife, the other part of this channel, obviously, if you're new to this channel, she has a SWAT box in her specialized stump jumper, which we just tuck this little tube away in. It doesn't rattle around or make any noise, super compact, and she doesn't even realize it's there. So she carries that, I carry all the other tools, and that's something I highly recommend if you're riding with somebody all the time to kind of distribute the different weight of the tools. So yeah, make sure you have a tube with you. It's gonna save your life. If you learned anything in this video or at least were entertained, please give us a like. We would really appreciate it. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. And if there's anything else that you think you could add to this list, please do not be afraid to add it down to the comment section below. And as always, I'm Nick and you're watching Nick and Katie. Thank you guys so much for watching.